Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is John with Smart Home Mojo, and in this video, we're gonna be setting up and looking at the Amazon Fire TV. The Fire TV is a streaming media player that will allow you to essentially get rid of cable and save money at the same time. Stream all the live and recorded TV shows, movies, and more that you could ever want. Fire TV also comes with a voice remote control that is powered by Alexa. There's more than just TV that you can control with this Alexa powered remote, which we're gonna show you coming up. So stay tuned folks, as we've got lots to talk about here with the Amazon Fire TV. Let's get right into the setup and show you what this streaming media player is all about. Okay, before we do the setup, let's take a look at what we get in the box from Amazon when we order the Fire TV, just so you know you can expect the same and what's what when you get and open your box. So first and foremost, what you get obviously is the Fire TV from Amazon, which is this device right here, which has an HDMI connector and another connection at the bottom, which we're gonna show you about. So this is the Fire TV. You also get a power adapter. This goes into the wall, and this is the USB cable that powers the device, so you get a charger and a cable. You also get two AAA batteries, uh, which will power the um, Alexa voice remote, which uh, is this thing right here. And so it just slides up in the back here, and the batteries go right in the back. And this is your, um, your voice remote control with Alexa. And then two, two pamphlets here, some instructions and some setups there from Amazon. So this is all that you get within the box right here. One additional item that we did order that we have on one of our TVs, the other one doesn't, is the uh, Ethernet adapter that works with the Fire TV from Amazon on and we're going to show you and that's what this is and we're going to show you what that is all about and this is the little box that came in and it comes with a pamphlet as well and so those are the two things that we're going to look at test today and show you how they work so that's it let's uh, jump right into the setup okay folks so here we are we flipped the tv around and let's walk through this setup and connect this to the television so we've got a couple of components that we just looked at prior and again this is the fire tv third generation with 4k and alexa voice remote that we're reviewing here today and so we've got a couple of components right the first thing we did is we hooked in our usb cable to our wall charger and we plugged this into the wall or we're going to plug it into the wall and we have the other end here and so there are two components so if you didn't order the ethernet adapter um, you would just use the fire tv and so the fire tv has an hdmi connection on the back of it so what you do is locate your uh, one of your hdmi uh, plugs or outlets in the back of your television and just plug that in now if you're not going to use the ethernet adapter and so the reason why you would use an ethernet adapter is uh, let's say you have a slow or weak signal in your house or wi-fi signal in your house you can connect this and, and i'll show you how to do it right to your router and so i've got my router over here i'm on my downstairs tv upstairs all i have is the fire TV hooked up to it. I don't have a uh, router or a cable up upstairs and so I just plug it right in. So what you would do is if you, if you were going to use your Ethernet adapter is there's a, a micro USB port on the bottom of this and so if you plug your Ethernet adapter right into the bottom of the Fire TV you can then uh, uh, connect your power right to the back of the uh, Ethernet adapter. Now, if you weren't using the Ethernet adapter, all you do is plug your power right into the bottom of the Fire TV um, device itself. And so now you've got power through the USB, through the Ethernet adapter to the Fire TV. The only other component you're missing, uh, and this does not come in the box, your Ethernet cable here, is a cable that you would plug right into the bottom of the Ethernet adapter. And so you've got power, you've got your Ethernet coming directly from the router, which is right here, in case you have slow Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi issues in your house. Uh, and now you've got it all connected. And essentially that's it. Um, the power adapter goes into the wall, you've got your Ethernet adapter, your Fire TV into your HDMI port, and you're ready to go. Now, there are two ways to watch and stream content using Fire TV. Let me explain how I use Fire TV and what the options are for you. The first way to watch live TV is to go out and purchase an inside antenna, either HD or non-HD, for your TV to watch local TV stations for free. The antenna costs about $28 on Amazon and you'll be limited to what stations you can see in your local market. Of course, if you're streaming movies and shows, you just need to sign up for one of those services like Netflix, Prime Video, or Hulu, which do come with their own subscription costs. The second way to watch live TV is to sign up for DirecTV Now and stream local and national stations. This is what I do, and let me show you how it works real quick. DirecTV Now offers a few bundles ranging from $40 up to $75. 
Each of the bundles comes with their own stations. The bundle starting at $40 has about 65 channels, and the bundle that costs about $75 has 125 channels. This is very similar to what cable offers, but for less money. Here are the direct TV packages currently offered and the channels you get with each package, along with some of the additional features you also get. With your plan from DirecTV Now, you'll also get a free DVR service and the ability to stream on two or up to three devices, including a smartphone or other TVs in your house. You also have the ability to sign up for additional premium channels like HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, Stars, and more to add on options to your direct TV viewing experience. I ditched cable for Fire TV and saved about $68 a month or $817 a year. Here's a picture of some of the cable equipment that I ditched on the left hand side and the Amazon Fire TV equipment on the right hand side that I now use in my house to stream live TV and watch other streaming shows and save money doing so. I traded in a higher cable bill and a lot more equipment for a better viewing experience that costs way less. Okay, let's take a look at what Fire TV looks like and how you navigate the Alexa voice remote. Okay, so let's take a peek into what Fire TV looks like and the user experience you're going to get while navigating the portal and using the Alexa voice remote. So right now we have up uh, is the main menu and we have the Alexa voice remote in our hand here and we're just gonna give it a couple of commands but before we do that, let's take a look and just look at the portal. So up at the top, you'll see you have a couple of different tabs starting on the home, your videos if you recorded everything, movies, TV shows, apps, and settings. And in the settings area is where you're gonna set up your wireless network hooked up to, the, to Fire TV, etc. So those are the settings up there. Uh, down below here in the middle section, you're gonna have all the recent programs and shows that you watch. So if you watch something recently, like The Man in the High Castle or ESPN or, or other movies, you can come right back to this section and easily get to those shows you watched recently. Down below here, you just have a lot of other options regarding other apps and channels and then sponsored, um, sponsored movies and shows. Right here is Prime Original Series in 4K Ultra HD. You have featured apps and games. You have certain programs and shows that are on sale. And so it just keeps on going here. You have other channels, and then it features movies by some of the different programs, like here are all the Stars movies, uh, since we subscribe to Stars, uh, et cetera. So um, that's all that you have here really in the home menu. I'm gonna hit the, the home button, and it brings me right back up to the top here in the main screen here. And so, so let's test out the Alexa voice remote and show you what this can do here. So I'm right here in the main menu. I'm just gonna hit the microphone button on the remote and say, play Ozark on Netflix. Getting Ozark from Netflix. And so you can see some of the speed here with this. Um, it goes right into the show. Um, if you back out once, you can go to different series or different seasons and different episodes. You can also fast forward using the remote by just hitting the button again, forward 20 minutes. And it'll bring you to up 20 minutes in the show. And so you can very easily go up and down, uh, forward and backwards in these different shows. And so let me go back out to the main menu here, get out of Ozark and uh, try another one. We'll do this one. Play The Walking Dead on Netflix. And so here it brings it right up, The Walking Dead. Again, if I wanted to hit out, back out one session here, I could go here and look at the other episodes or the seasons or anything like that. And so the remote lets you do that as well. And so right from here in The Walking Dead, let's just go back out. Instead of using the home button, we'll just go and say, Direct TV Now. And so it should bring us right back up to DirecTV Now. And DirecTV Now is we're going to be watching live TV. And so those are the, the $40 a month program that we paid for. We get about 65 different channels. And right now it's just watching ESPN. But if I go out to the main menu here for DirecTV Now, it'll give me the last four or five programs that I've been watching. So instead of go searching in the guide for it, I can go to NBC or SportsCenter or one of the movies I was watching, the Weather Channel, 
or I can go back up to the guide. Now you can see here, I'm going to show you what the guide user experience is like, and it's, it's very fast and fluid, and so here, here's the guide, and very easily I can see what's coming up, what's on now, I can go to the Food Network, I can do lots of different things. Here's, the, here's CNN. Um, so there's lots of different things that, that you can do here. And you can see how quickly it, it moves between movies and live TV. So right from live TV, let me go right from live TV and say, play Game of Thrones. And you see it puts me right up to the Game of Thrones tile here. You know, Game of Thrones is on HBO. Right now I don't have HBO on here as an added premium channel, but I can certainly watch HBO for a free seven day trial, or I can then buy an episode or a season or whatever. And so I'm just going to hit the main menu, go back to the main menu here in Direct, Direct TV now. But you really can get a sense for how quickly and responsive uh, the Fire TV is with both live TV and then going back and forth to searching for and viewing shows and TVs on Netflix and Hulu or Prime Video. So you can really get a sense for, for how quickly it is and, and how responsive it is. So that's it folks. As you can see, using the Fire TV is a very easy and simple way to watch live TV and also stream content from a variety of different media providers. I have to say from my own personal experience, I'm so glad I dropped cable and switched to the Amazon Fire TV. I rarely have any connectivity or streaming issues and I save some money in the process of switching. Okay, so as I promised earlier in the video, I want to show you some of the other actions you can perform using the Alexa voice remote if you have other smart enabled Wi-Fi devices throughout your house. And we do, so let's test out a couple right now. Turn on the tree. Okay. Turn on the living room. Okay. Turn the thermostat to 70 degrees. The heat's set to 70. So as soon as you give the Alexa voice remote commands, by just hitting the top microphone button on the remote, you can command and control certain devices around the house, such as a learning thermostat or Wi-Fi plugs or Wi-Fi bulbs. Uh, let's try a couple more things. Turn the living room green. So the bulb we have, the Wi-Fi bulb we have, is a colored bulb. So you can change the colors to it. You can change it and dim the lights. You can turn the light 100% on or to 50% capacity. Turn the living room red. Okay. Turn the tree off. Okay. Turn the living room white. So as you can see, there's a lot you can do with the Alexa voice remote just besides controlling the television if you have smart enabled Wi-Fi devices such as plugs, light bulbs, thermostat, even wireless cameras which we didn't talk about using Alexa voice remote. So here are the, some of the products that we just tested out. We tested out and looked at smart Wi-Fi plugs, we talked about the smart Wi-Fi bulbs, and we also talked about the learning thermostat. And this is from, the learning thermostat is from Nest, uh, and the other bulbs and the Wi-Fi plugs are by TP-Link. So we do have separate videos just on these devices. We'll include links to these other videos on these products and also links to purchase the products below in the description as well. All right, well that wraps up today's video on the Amazon Fire TV. Please take a second and subscribe to our channel right now. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up as well. Click on that description below the video to get links to purchase any of the products we reviewed in today's video. Thanks folks, this is John with Smart Home Mojo and I'll see you in the next video.